good day student in this session we will see the practical number 13 library functions to complete this practical we should develop three programs the first one is use of all string handling functions use of few mathematical functions and third is use of few other miscellaneous functions <coughs> now quickly we see the program outcome which are related to this practical these are the basic knowledge discipline knowledge experiment and practice engineering tools ethics individual and team work communication and lifelong learning now the relevant ceos are develop flowchart and algorithm to solve problems logically and develop use functions in c program for modular programming approach <clears throat> to complete this practical we need some minimal minimum theoretical concept that these are concept and need of functions concept of library functions like math functions string handling functions and other miscellaneous functions declaration and use of user defined function so now <coughs> we will see the first program that is the use of all string handling functions so here the important thing is if we want to use inbuilt functions that is library function then we should first include that header file into our program so in this program we are going to use the string handling functions so here we are <coughs> we have included string dot h header file now in this program we will see the different string handling functions like string length string copy string compare string reverse string lower and string upper so for that purpose i have taken three <coughs> string that is a character array string 1 string 2 and string 3 and these two are the integer variable that is a length and result now first we will take the three inputs for the string from the user for this purpose here we have written the print tape and scan it now length equal to strength str len str1 so after execution of this function the length of str1 is counted and it will displayed by using this print tape means suppose if in the string 1 we have type sit then it will gives us 3 as a length of this string now second one is a str cpy in bracket str1 comma str2 now suppose if in the str1 we have typed a sit and in the str2 we have typed a polytechnic or poly then this second string will be copied into the first string means after this execution both string str1 and 2 will be same why because this str2 already having the value poly and now by using this function it is copied into the str1 so by using this print f statement we are going to show the string 1 and string 2 now after this result equal to str cmp str1 comma str2 now we can see here str1 is also poly and str2 is also poly so both strings are same and by using this str cmp function if it will return the value 0 then these two strings are the same but if it gives the value which is not um, not a zero then it will be a uh, both string will be not same next function is a str rev that is a string reverse and here we have passed a string 3 suppose this string 3 has the value sit then it will gives us tis as a reverse string same way by using the str rev we are, we here we try to get original string after this by using this str upr and str lwr this str upr gives us the string in a upper case format and str lwr this will give a string in a lower case so now quickly we we will compile this program and after that execute this program so here enter string for str1 so first string should be sit second string is a poly and suppose in the third string i have entered adrop now you can see first is a length of string so by using str len function we have counted these alphabets which are present in a first string that is a sit it has the three length of the string now second is copy of string here in the second string see here in the output our second string is a poly and we have copied this string into the first string so both str1 is poly and str2 is also poly now third one is a str cmp in this function we have compared two 
string that is a string one and string two you can see here both strings are same so it it is given answer as a zero next is a reverse and in this reverse function we have used a string three that is a adra so now this is the reverse spelling of this adra now again by using the reverse string we can get the original string then by using upper case you can see here all alphabets in a upper case letters and by using lower case that is str lwr by using this function we have printed all the letters in the lower case format so this is all about your first program of practical number 30 now we will see the second program for that purpose here i am i have open the math function dot c file so here in this function uh, in this program we are going to see the library functions which are related to the math so here we have included math dot h header file after that here you can see we have declared three integer variables from those we have assigned 25 and 100 value to the variable a and n respectively after that res it is a result is equal to sqrt a first function is a square root function the value of a is 25 and it will give us the square root of this variable a so now when we try to print the value of result it will give us the value 5 then this is the floor function and this is the cell function by using floor function it will round up your floating point value with decreasing the value means the output of this both are the 3.000 and by using the cell we can uh, round up the value with adding um, fractional part and it will give us the up value that is a four value next is the absolute value by using this function we can uh, give the output as a absolute value means minus 12 becomes 12 and 12 becomes minus 12 and last one is a power function 2 raised to 4 it will give answer of 2 raised to 4 that is a 2 multiply by 4 times so it will give us answer as a 16 okay now quickly we compile this program and after that execute this program so square root is equal to 5 because we have return a into the square root function so value of a is 25 and square root of this 25 is a 5 now floor function of 3.6 is become 3 again floor of 3.2 is become also 3 means it is down the value of fractional number and by using the cell here it will increase the value that is 3.6 become 4 and 3.2 become also 4 then the absolute value of minus 12 is a 12 and power of 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16 this is all about math function which are related to the c now third is a miscellaneous function so here i want to tell that the miscellaneous function means get ch clear screen function uh, clear screen functions again get s get uh, che put che background color these are the functions and we have already used that function into number of program so this is you are practical number 30 thank you